See, when we talk about stem cells, we talk about embryonic stem cells and extra embryonic. Embryonic has got a lot of ethical issues, which are, and lots of, uh, still in the research, it's been uh, completely not advocated to go in. So when we are looking at non-embryonic stem cells, there are so many tissues which can give, like bone marrow, or any other cell which we take out and then start using, like in cloning, etc. But we need something which can be collected, which has enough stem cells, both from the mesenchymal and hemopoietic stem cells, and which is painless, does not affect adversely both the, uh, the donor and the recipient. That is where we have an advantage in the umbilical cord. And when we are looking at umbilical cord, what are we exactly doing it? Within 10 minutes after the birth, we are going to cut, take the hemopoietic cells from the vein, which connects the placenta and the baby. So this umbilical cord, when we are taking it, the largest number of stem cells are seen in the placenta. So with, when we are collecting it, we collect around 7 25 ml of this uh, blood into the bag which is already there and then we cut around 25 centimeters of the umbilical cord from where the mesenchymal stem cells are taken. So when we're doing, when you're doing it, we're collecting about 1.6 million of stem cells from the hemopoietic stem cells and about almost as much as 3 to sometimes can be 21 million of stem cells when it comes to mesenchymal stem cells. So this is the advantage we have with the umbilical cord. One, it is not pain, painful, it is autologous, it is that baby, so the rejection is almost, it is negligible. And when it comes to the compatibility, the other babies, it will be as high as 50%. When it comes to the parents, it can be used in 25% of the cases. So these are the major advantages we are looking at when we are looking at stem cell therapy from the umbilical cord.